AITA for not consulting my sister when my wife and I picked our baby's name. I'll try to keep it short and I'm on mobile so sorry for formatting. My 27 meters and my wife 26F have been together since we were 16. We got married two years ago and just had our first child. For the sake of privacy, I'll call our child, Mason. When we announced our baby's name at his birth, everyone seemed happy, but after everyone gave my wife and I to bond with our son. My sister, 25F, asked me if she could talk to me. When we were in private, she blew up at me saying I was betraying her by naming my child Mason. She said his name was on a list of potential baby names, if she had a boy. I had not known about this list beforehand so that was a surprise. She asked me to change my son's name because apparently Mason was one of two names she chose for a boy. My father sided with me but my mother sided with my sister. AITA? NTA. My husband and I wanted to name any daughter we had after one of his grandmothers who died before. We started having kids. We now have two sons and zero daughters. His sister had a daughter just before our eldest was born and named her after the grandmother. We said, that's sweet, and moved on to our next set of names. Your sister needs to move on. Congrats on the kiddo. I can't believe you wouldn't double check with your childless sister to see if she had a secret future baby name list that conflicted with the name of your actual baby. NTA. The only thing that would make this better is if she's single. Nope. Absolutely NTA. You're not a mind reader. It won't change my vote. But I'm just curious is your sister actually pregnant with this child she's making lists of names for? Or is this just a hypothetical kid? NTA your sister and mother are being ridiculous. 1. You didn't know. 2. Your sister has no greater right to the name than you. 3. She may not ever even have a boy. 4. Your sister has no right to dictate names you can, can't use. 5. People who get wound up about a name like your mom and sis are pretty much always the ah. 6. Your sister had two names on her list. So I guess she can use the other one. I dare you to have another boy and name him that too. She claimed names before being pregnant even? Lunacy. She has no right to theoretical names when your kid actually exists. NTA and congrats on the new Lil Peanut. So she can call imaginary dibs on a name and your mother thinks that's okay. But you can't call very real dibs on a name by actually using the name? Huh? So what Mason was one of two names she chose. It was one of one names you chose. You're just as entitled to it as she is. Actually more so. Cause you know. You actually have a kid. NTA. NTA. Tell her you made her choice easy. Now she can go with the other name. Tell her if she pisses you off you will have another boy and take the other name too. NTA. She doesn't own a name. If she's not pregnant why would you even think to have to check with her beforehand? You betrayed nobody. She's a loon. Now go and buy some more nappies and have a coffee. NTA. If this was a name that was extremely special to her for some reason beloved relative or something, and she didn't want anyone else choosing it, then she should have made that known so that people could take it into consideration if they wished. 2. Even then, you're under no obligation to not use it. Also, it's one thing to be upset, but to actually ask you to change your baby's name is utterly ridiculous. Too late. Your sister should have given you the list before you chose a name for your baby. Besides. First come. First served. NTA the only people that need consulted are those who are the parents who will be living with the name. It's nobody's business until after birth anyways.
Demanding a name change is absurd. She doesn't own the name. NTA. Your sister, too, could name a child of her own Mason when, if that time came. Your sister would be the only one preventing herself from doing so. NTA. Your baby was given a name chosen by you and your partner. Your sister's future possible baby is not even conceived let alone born. For all she knows, she will only have daughters. Or her husband may hate the name Mason. It's not like a car ride where you claim, shotgun, and get the front seat. Also, you can't betray your sister because you didn't read her mind or consult with her about a child she didn't participate in the creation of. Congrats on the baby. And be careful of your sister's behavior with him. If she's that unhinged about celebrating your new child, then who knows what she will say to him about why you chose his name. NTA now she can just name her hypothetical future baby the last name on her list. NTA. No one owns a name. So you can name the kid what you want. If your sister doesn't like it, then she can go pound sand. NTA it's reasonable to talk to your family about baby names that have an inescapable emotional attachment like if Mason was the name of her obsessive ex or her child who had passed away. However it's a name she happens to like there are hundreds of thousands of other names she can pick. Something new. NTA. Your sister is wacko. NTA no one owns names. NTA. How are you supposed to know? It is crazy of you to ask you to change the name based on secret dibs. NTA. You can't call dibs on a baby name if you're not even pregnant. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.